Cool. We are live. Give us a second, everyone. We are just going to get let Facebook spread the word that we are live, and uh, we will be rocking and rolling here momentarily. Hope everybody is having a great start to the week so far. There we are. Boom. All right, I got mine. All right, I still don't see us in one of them. Let's see. There we are. Cool. All right, we're going to get started here in just a second. Perfect. Hey, what's up, everybody? All right, so we are ready to rock and roll. So we appreciate everybody tuning in. As always, David Thomas, Mr. J. Woolwine. We're here every Tuesday, 4 p.m. Eastern, to give you about 10, 15 minutes of motivation, inspiration, and education. You know, really anything that helps you develop your person so you can be, uh, so you can get closer to achieving your goals. You know, sometimes we talk about trading mindset. Sometimes we just talk about personal development in general. And today is more of those personal development days. And so today, you know, the title is winners versus losers. That might be a little harsh, you know, let's, uh, but you can go ahead and, and write that down. And because we're today, we're going to be talking about those who win versus those who don't. All right. might be a more politically correct way to say it. Um, but, but, you know, first thing I want to say off the, off the bat is that all of us are failures, you know, and before you start turning this off, you know, hear me out. Jay's not a failure. Everybody else is, but uh, you know, this is, this is going to be worth it, but I want you to think about those who achieve and those who excel and are able to do amazing things, right? How are they able to do that? And that's what we want to talk about today versus why do some people achieve and some people just don't. And we're going to talk about what it is that they're doing to actually have success. And so in the next, you know, like I said, 10 or so minutes, we're going to share with you probably something you haven't really heard before. Um, But uh, just stay tuned. You're going to get a lot of value out of it. All right, cool. So, well, we've been talking about this for years, but most people probably haven't heard it this way. But think about like on the business side, right? Why do some people hit chairman and others don't, right? Why do some people crush it with trading? Like it used to to drive me crazy. I would like go and cry to David. I'm like, look at this guy. He's, you know, I I struggled for years. This guy is like two weeks in, right? He's like, I'm like 3,000% in a day you know <laughs> why does that happen some people blow accounts some people are crushing it you know some people just say oh that guy's lucky here he's got the Midas touch um, some people just seem to to achieve incredible things while you know while there's difficult circumstances surrounding them uh, it's it's been said before like there's more millionaires made during the great depression than any other time right some people just thrive in that environment right Maybe you've got one person that's earning a degree, you know, a single parent, two kids, uh, and is getting their degree while they're working, right? And then there's somebody else that's, you know, got a spouse, somebody else to help them, they got a good job, you know, working part time and they can't they can't get things going, right? Is it is it maybe their family background or is it, you know, maybe you grew up with, you know, with uh, privilege, right? Or wealth, you know, maybe you just had more opportunities or maybe you had higher morals. Uh, maybe you're more devout and following the commandments, you know, maybe it's just literally the absence of having hardships, but it's not, it's not really any of those things. And David's going to tell you a little bit more about that. Yeah. I mean, like you said, it's really none of those things, although they are helpful, of course, you know, and obviously, but it's this, and, you know, if you are taking notes, which, you know, it wouldn't be a bad idea to do. I know that we're not like in a school setting, but they say, no, well, there's going to be a test. <laughs> There's a test, but they do say note takers are money makers, hypothetically, because I'm going to stay compliant. But um, definitely, if you can, if you can take some notes, it'd be good. But, you know, write this down. The difference between average people and achieving people is their perception and response to failure. All right. I'll say it again. The difference between average people and achieving people is their perception and response to failure. It's how people deal with failure. You know, because we're all going to fail in life, guaranteed. You are going to fail at something, and so it's how you deal with that setback. That setback, right? Maybe it's a trading setback. Maybe it's someone left your business. Maybe you're going through a divorce. It's the way you respond to these, because life's going to keep coming, right? And so 
how can you respond? It's the way they respond to these is how they're able to impact and move forward and achieve such incredible things in their lives. Yeah. And when something happens, like let's say on the business side, right? Like a, a leader leaves your organization. We've had it happen with our team, right? Your volume goes down. Um, maybe, maybe a trading account is blown or whatever, right? It's how people respond to those circumstances, right? To that environment that really makes the difference, right? You've got, you've got two people, right? They get let go of the same job, right? Um, one gets bitter, right? <laughs> and, and fights it for the next six months, right? They're trying to file, you know, wrongful termination suits and all that stuff, right? And collecting unemployment for six months, you know? And, and then the other person is like, wow, this is like an opportunity for me to do something, right? I, I really saw it a lot in uh, when the pandemic hit, right? I mean, so many people that were getting more money than they made at their regular job and not having to work at all. And they blew that money, right? <laughs> they just blew it. And then other people that took that money are like, wow, this is really an opportunity for me. And they started businesses and did things like that, right? You, they have a good attitude, right? They used it as a promotion, not a demotion, right? And they realize that this is part of life, right? And it's actually can be part of your growth, right? And they end up getting a better job than they had before, right? Or, or, or maybe they don't even need a job, right? They, like I said, they start a business. They go on to have success in some other fashion because of how they respond to, the, to that circumstance, right? And what they what seemed like a negative, they, they spun it so that it wasn't a negative. They become TikTok famous. <laughs> that happened a lot during the pandemic. Yeah, exactly. but, uh, Absolutely. yeah, you know, for sure. So, you know, Jay said something earlier about wrongful termination. I dealt with, dealt with that so much um, in my restaurant, you know, and a lot of you know my story. I used to own a restaurant and just, you know, using that as an example, that was a tough time in my life, right? You know, it's just overcoming every single area of my life. And I was depressed and angry and I hated it. But through that, I said, you know what? I need some, I need a way out. I didn't just sit there and be depressed and be mad and be like, well, you know, I've been dealt a bad hand. I said, no, I'm going to learn a new skill. And then I found this amazing team that we're with now and it paid off. Obviously you guys know my story, right? So I could have spent tons of emotional energy, um, you know, and money dealing with, uh, you know, just the restaurant and just frustrations and all these things. And I could have missed the opportunity of learning this incredible skill that we have here and joining this amazing team. So does that make sense? You know, sometimes we miss opportunity, whether it's a new partner in a business or whether it's um, your next amazing trade, right? Simply because we're dealing with things that shouldn't be dealt with. We should move on. We should get a, keep a good attitude and realize that this is all part of the process of success. Yeah, I, I hate to turn everything into a sports metaphor, but it's like something that we always coached kids in baseball, right? You have to have a short memory, right? Because you got you got another pitch coming right now, right? Or maybe you missed a play in the field, and now you got to go at bat, and you're still pissed, and you're still thinking about that missed play, right? You have to have a short memory and, and get over it and move on to the next thing, or you're going to blow something else, right? It's going to impact the next thing. So, so today our call to action for you guys is just to try to respond to different circumstances, the difficulties are going to come your way in a more positive way, right? It's not, you know, it's not all sunshines and rainbows and unicorns pooping on you. You know, it's, <laughs> it's just, you know, but just try to shift your focus a little bit on how you're responding to those, right? So if you can do that, go ahead and drop a one in the chat, like this is your making a commitment that you're going to actually make an effort to just respond better to circumstances, right? You're going to have stuff come your way, right? We all do. Sometimes you get, you know, it's like the whack-a-mole, right? You get whacked or thumped or sometimes it's a freaking jackhammer that just doesn't stop, right? And, but, you know, maybe, maybe something's already happened to you today, you know, maybe, maybe it's tomorrow or next week, right? Stuff's going to come up, right? It's going to happen but you have to learn how to respond to those things in a little bit more positive way so that you can just shift. You know, it's like that, what's that, uh, the butterfly effect, right? It's just one mm -hmm. little thing, right? You just make one decision, right? And it starts to compound and has that domino effect into other areas of your life. Yeah, I mean, you have to start responding, not reacting. You know, when the doctor says you're reacting to the medicine, that's a bad thing. But when he says you're responding to the medicine, that's a good thing. 
you've got to start responding in life, not reacting. You know, people are so reactionary, especially on social media nowadays, right? They're reactionary with the news or reactionary with their loved ones. But when you respond in a positive way and you keep moving forward, you know, guess what? Good things are going to start to materialize in your life. Opportunities are going to start to open up and you are going to progress that much faster. So that's our message for you guys today. We hope you have an awesome day. Hope you get a lot of value out of this. And uh, we appreciate every single one of you tuning in as you do every week. And uh, yeah, so we'll see everybody back next week. Obviously, we'll see a lot of you before then, but uh, we love you. We appreciate you. And we'll talk soon. See you guys.